Ooh, hot dog. There was a trade today. Let's go talk about it. Okay, here we go. Our first big trade of the offseason. The Blue Jays are sending Teoscar Hernandez to the Mariners for Eric Swanson and Adam Mako. I actually really like this trade for both sides. I'm going to dive into both teams and how they help out each team. But before I do get to that, let's actually go to the trade itself on BaseballTradeValues.com, the best baseball trade simulator out there, right around a 95% acceptance rate on over 400 real-life trades. But here is the trade. As you can see here, Teoscar Hernandez, he had a value of right around $8.4 and for the Blue Jays, they are getting back a value of 15.8 million. Swanson holding 10.4 and Mako holding 5.4. Let's dive into the Mariners first because this is obviously the uh, the big part of the trade, I would say, at least the, uh, the most newsworthy part of it. But for Teoscar Hernandez, he's going to go right into this Mariners lineup. They needed something for this outfield. They had a lot of inconsistencies last year in their outfield, minus Julio Rodriguez, who just won Rookie of the Year. Um, but... Jared Kelnick was up and down from the majors to the minors. Mitch Hanniger had a lot of injuries last year. So Teoscar Hernandez should be a solid corner outfield bat. And if we take a look at his numbers from last year, pretty solid numbers overall. Now, his numbers had dipped a little bit. If you go back to that 2021 season, that was his best season overall. Hit 296 with a 346 on base, a 524 slugging. 32 homers, 116 RBIs. However, all of those numbers came down this year. He did also miss a little bit more time uh, this year compared to 2021. So this year hit 267 with a 316 on base, a 491 slugging, 25 homers, 77 RBIs. Still good numbers overall. Uh, his WRC plus only dipped by three points. Overall, I think this is going to be a really nice bat for the Mariners. And hey, again, they need more consistency in this outfield. Now, what does this mean for someone like Jesse Winker or Mitch Hanniger? I do think eventually Jesse Winker is going to be on his way out of town. Uh, supposedly with the Mariners last year, he was uh, not fitting in very well. People were getting kind of tired of him. Uh, people thought he wasn't working as hard as he could have. And uh, overall, just did not have a great season last year. There have been talks about the Mariners looking to ship him out elsewhere. What I could see is they send Jesse Winker to another team, a team that could use a bit of an upgrade with their lefty bats, and they could still bring back someone like a Mitch Hanniger. He is a fan favorite. The players, the organization, they love him. So if you end up bringing back someone like a Mitch Hanniger and you get back to that 2021 form and you got a pretty solid bat here in Teoscar Hernandez as well as Julio Rodriguez, that could be a really good outfield. We'll just have to wait and see what else the Mariners end up doing. But I like this bat for them. It's just going to give them more extension, a bit more consistency in that lineup. Now, let's go to the Blue Jays. And I know a lot of people out there, you know, actually, if we go back to the trade, technically, according to the numbers, the Blue Jays win this trade. Uh, but I'm looking at it more from a from a philosophy point of view, from a team need point of view. The Mariners, they needed a consistent bat, but the Blue Jays, they really needed an upgrade in this bullpen, and this is going to be a huge addition. You have Jordan Romano as your closer, but Swanson will step right into the setup role. We saw what happened with the Blue Jays in the wild card game, uh, just completely blowing it there in the end uh, to the Mariners, who ended up going on to face the Astros in the next round. But Swanson, this is a guy that is really going to bring you a lot of stability in this bullpen. Look at the numbers from last year. 57 games, a 1.68 ERA, 1.85 FIP. Throws a lot of fastballs, has some sinkers, has some sliders as well. But the one thing the Blue Jays really needed, they needed some strikeouts. And that's what Swanson's going to bring for you. Right around 12 strikeouts per nine. Keeps the walks low, keeps the home runs low. I really like this addition here. And taking a look at the overall rankings, the Blue Jays 16th overall in Fangraph War. Yeah, not a bad bullpen last year, but I feel like they needed a bit of an upgrade there. And I think Swanson is going to be a huge addition for that bullpen. And also, they get a pitching prospect as well. Uh, Adam Mako, still pretty far away in high A ball as of right now. If we take a look at where he is currently in the Blue Jays system, he is their now, now their number eight prospect overall. But solid numbers last year. Over, tw uh, we had, well, again, it was a small sample size, but eight starts, a 3.99 ERA, 3.77 FIP. But the big thing with Mako is he gets a lot of strikeouts. Look at the 2021 strikeout numbers, 15 strikeouts per nine. The one problem with him, though, is he walks a lot of guys. But high strikeout guy, we'll have to just wait and see how he is down the road. He's got good velocity. He's got good stuff. 
let's just see if the Blue Jays can harness that stuff and kind of lower those walks a little bit. But in the end, I really like this trade for both sides. Again, I like a consistent bat, like it's hey Oscar Hernandez for the Mariners and bring back Mitch Haniger or maybe even bring in someone else. Uh, and don't forget, you also have Jared Kelnick there too. I really like this. The Mariners, I feel like they're right there. They're ready to compete. And just to add uh, just some more beef to this lineup and more consistency, I think that's just a win-win if you ask me. Now, it does come at the expense of someone like an Eric Swanson where with the Mariners, they got a lot of good arms there. They got some young arms there. So my thinking is that they think they can they can absorb the loss of an Eric Swanson and they can find some other guys to fill in. But for the Blue Jays, this is huge. They really needed a guy like this. That bullpen is so much better now. Overall, I like this trade for both sides. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Which team do you think won this trade? The Blue Jays, the Mariners, or are you like me and you think they both win in this one? But let me know what you think. That's all I have for right now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.